And we're live. We are live. What's up, everybody? And welcome to We Search Live with me, Jay Isaiah. So today, we are just gonna jump right into this because, you know, I'm ready to do some makeup. <laughs> so we are in my bedroom today. I keep switching up the backgrounds because I'm trying to find the background that I like the best. So welcome to my room. And I feel like we have a lot of light going on, but we'll make it work. <laughs> But let's see. So today we are going to be going over uh, the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Um, so I'm actually really excited to jump into this because uh, I have not used it yet. <laughs> well, that's a lie. I don't even know why I just lied just now. I definitely did use it because I filmed a review video that's gonna be posted, I think, today. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a live stream, do some makeup looks with this, talk about life, talk about makeup, and just enjoy. Amy, what's up, love? How are you doing today? <laughs> I need to do my hair like ASAP, she's dry. I've been like, I've been teasing it and getting all the curls out so it's soft again, but it needs to be done. <laughs> but how are you doing today, Amy? Thank you for joining. I'm trying to find a brush. Oh, here we go, boom. We'll see if anybody else joins. Oh, we got another person in here. Hello, if you just joined the broadcast. What's up? Welcome. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to uh, just jump into this, you know? Haven't seen you in forever. I know, the weekend, I took a break this weekend. I've been working super hard, so I needed to take a break. Um, yesterday, I had an interview with Gracie's. A sight for sore eyes. Hi, Andrea. What's up, boo? <laughs> Love you. Um, but uh, what was I say? Oh yeah, so I took a break this weekend because I needed it. I just been working super hard and I took Sunday off from like, I took the weekend off from live streaming in general. general. And then on Sunday I cooked out with my roommate and just ate food and like chilled out and you know, relaxed. <laughs> but we are back and we are live and we are about to get into this palette. Oh, hold on, was that upside down? Oh no, that was right. The Naked Cherry Palette. <laughs> Did you win the raffle? I have not pulled the raffle names yet. I'm gonna do that later today on Meet Me. <laughs> But um, we'll talk about Meet Me too, because I think I'm leaving that app. <laughs> oh, but oh, no, you know, you know. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. So hello everybody, welcome to We Search Live with me, Jay Isaiah. We are gonna be going over the Naked Cherry Palette by Urban Decay Cosmetics today. So Urban Decay. Um, I did do a cam review of this for Research Beauty and it will be posted, I think it's gonna be posted today. So there'll be like a shorter video going over all the swatches and whatnot. But I wanted to do something more practical and just actually put this on my lids and just chat with you guys and all that other stuff. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so I don't have any foundation on, all I have is my brows on. And I did my brows using the Joa Beauty or Kiss Beauty Precision Brow Pencil. So this, is ha this happens to be my favorite brow pencil now. Like, Ugh, it's perfect. <clears throat> but what's going on in everybody's life in the chat room? How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing well. I'm gonna start off by priming my lids, my normal routine. So I'm just gonna prime the lid. And I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Conceal and Define in the color C13. I'm just gonna prime my whole lid. And clean up the brow a little bit. There we go. You have the weekend off, so I'm excited to do nothing. Yes, that's awesome. Working as usual. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know Andrea's working right now too. Aren't you, Andrea? I know sometimes you have like random days off, but that's the goal, the American dream. Graduate from high school, I mean, go to school for 12 years, graduate, go to college, and then work the rest of your life. <clears throat> oh, barely. What's been going on with work, Andrea? If you don't, if you don't mind sharing in the chat. All right, just priming my lids, and I'm gonna go over, oh, let me prime this out. Okay, so one thing about the Makeup Revolution Concealer, everybody, is that it dries down super, super fast. Um, I would say that it's similar to um, the Tarte Shape Tape, but of course, Tarte Shape Tape is more creamy, 
Um, it's, uh, I think it's longer lasting and it doesn't dry down as fast so you can actually work with it. But if you're looking for something that like you can put on your lids and it won't, uh, it'll help with creasing, then I would definitely go with the Makeup Revolution Concealer. So let's get this uh, base on. I don't even really know what kind of look I'm going to. I'm just gonna jump into the palette and just see where my hands and my mind take me. Now I started pulling concealer down the bridge of my nose just because since I use a lighter concealer, this is gonna help with my nose contour later. Um, just another tip or, or a technique that I started doing and it just helps a lot with my nose contour. So I just lightly blend down whatever's left on the side of my nose and like so. Okay. They are giving us some stuff we can't work, so it's getting paid but not meeting. So getting paid but not meeting our numbers. Oh, that sucks. Are they like, are they accounting for not meeting your numbers? Like, is that gonna, are, is that, are they gonna hold that against you? That's what I'm trying to say. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pat this down with my fingers. Okay, so now that our lids are primed, um, I use Makeup Revolution once again, Conceal and Define, and then also the Base Shadow Brush by Real Techniques, and I use that to prime my lids. Sorry if the light is a little exposed. Um, it's very gloomy today. Usually I can use natural light, but I have to have this ring light to support. <clears throat> we don't know, no one's giving us answers. Well, make sure you're sending those emails because you already know, you know from a business professional to another business professional, paper trails are everything. If they're not responding and you leave, a, a, like, and you send an email asking all the things that you want to know, if no one ever responds, the liability is no longer on you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my lids in place with my MAC Skin Perfecting Powder in the color Dark Deep, and I'm just using a Real Technique setting brush. So now that our lids are primed and set and ready for us to get into it, let's pop open this palette, let's talk about the shades for a second, and then let's start applying them on the lid. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. So I actually really like the packaging. I'm not super big into packaging. I don't think it makes that big of a deal. Um, I honestly don't think that brands should spend a lot of money on packaging PR and like all that other stuff, like sending out these things and extravagant packages because what happens after you take this palette out? Like I think I keep the packaging probably for like a week and then after that it gets annoying, keep pulling pulling the palette in and out and putting it in and out. So this ends up going in the trash. Even though that's not the trash, that's, that's my bed, but you got what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but once you do open up the palette, it's very cute. It's gonna, sh um, it's see-through and then the picture's underneath it, but the cherries that are located right here, those cherries are all the shades that are in the palette, like so. Does come with a mirror. I love palettes that come with a mirror. I feel like it definitely helps a lot. And then let's try to get this up closer for you guys. There we go. And here are all the shades. So this white is like pigmented. Pigmented, like super pigmented. Um, and then it goes down the list. I think this is a drunk dot or hot spot. Caution, bang, bang, feels juicy. Turn on, ambitious, bing, devilish, young love, drunk dial, and privacy. So I did use this product already and I did a review on it, like I said, and it's gonna be posted today, hopefully. Um, but I did see these, all of these shadows are very creamy and I've never used an Urban Decay Naked palette so I didn't have anything to compare it to. But after talking with the research team, um, Urban Decay palettes are usually more powdery and these were very creamy. So they did discontinue the Naked Heat palettes and then they came out with the Naked Cherry palette. So I wonder if they just redid the whole entire formula. So I might have to pick up a Naked Heat palette if I can find one and that way I can compare them together. Maybe that'll be a whole live stream in itself. <clears throat> has anybody in the chat used any of the Naked uh, palettes by Urban Decay or has you have you used any Urban Decay palettes? 
Also, before we even get started into the eye look, I see that there's no liked buttons pressed. If you're in the room, if you're watching this stream, if you are enjoying, please hit give this video a thumbs up. Um, also, share the broadcast if you do not mind. And let's get into this. Subscribe to the WeSearch channel if you're not already. And we will get into this view. <clears throat> All right. My supervisor and paternity leave for the whole, uh, the whole month. Wow. Yeah, boo. Definitely send, send that email. Don't play around. Send that email. <clears throat> okay, so let's jump in. Let's see. Let's jump into... Uh, okay, so I tried to use some of these lighter colors on my lids already, and they don't show up that much. So I'm going to go a different route today and see if we can... I don't know. We'll just play around. We'll, we're going to play around with this. Thank you for guys for hitting that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. So let's jump in with... All right, I think I'm gonna jump in with Devilish first. I'm gonna put Devilish in my crease. It's a darker color, and we're just gonna deepen out that crease, make it real, real dark. Because even though it is still fall slash autumn, it is also Halloween, happy October. Well, it's not Halloween yet, but it's October. And October is the month of Halloween, and makeup goes crazy around this time. So let's just make this dark, and we'll go from there. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna use my trusty color switch to switch the colors of my shadows, like so. And I'm gonna jump in here with a Morphe 441 brush. This is a fluffy blending brush. So Morphe 441, fluffy blending, boom. And we're just gonna jump into that first shade devilish, which is right, oh God, there we go, is right here, so devilish. So I'm just gonna give it a couple swipes like so. Tap off any excess on my brush. Oh, that was a lot of powder. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna start by putting this in my crease area and then just blending this in. Now, I, hopefully the color shows up on camera. If not, we will definitely move after we're done so you guys can see everything. Um, but hopefully it doesn't flush out the color. All right, so I'm just blending this in. I'm using like windshield wiper motions and just really getting this saturated into my crease. Then I'm bringing it down into my outer V area and then pulling it into my lash line like so. And I'm just gonna, oh, I don't have any foundation on, so we're just gonna concentrate on the eye first. But yeah, so we're in our outer V area and then pull into the lash line. And like so. All right, so on camera, can you guys see the shadow on here? I can see it a little bit, like it does have that tint to it. Ooh, it's getting hot in here, what's going on? I am wearing like this gigantic sweater. Need to come and use Haley's Tease Me Palette. I really want to, I really want to. <laughs> you said you, she got it on Wish, right? I'm gonna deepen this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of Devilish. Oh, and look at the shade name, Devilish for Halloween. Even though, you know, I'm not like, me and the devil, me and the devil ain't cool, but. <laughs> so I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more. All right. So if we get up close and personal, you guys can kind of see this. Hopefully you can see that in the light, but it blends out really, really nicely. It's very creamy, easy to blend out. Um, I used the Urban Decay brush. It came with a brush, guys, I promise you. Oh, I almost lost all my brushes. Good thing I caught them. Okay, so it did come with a brush that came in the palette like this, but honestly, the brush sucks. Um, I don't think I'm using it wrong because I use brushes all the time, but the bristles are super hard. It didn't blend out anything and I really didn't like the brush, so we're not using their brush today. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other eye. Yep, is it raining up there? It's about to. Let me see if I can flip the camera. Here's my view currently. <laughs> it's like the skies are very dark and gray and it's definitely turning into something. All right, so here we go. Let's go back into Devilish. Is it raining there? 
I know we're supposed to get like a huge storm, and on the news yesterday they said uh, King Moon was supposed to flood. So, all right, I'm gonna pack that in here, and we're just gonna buff this into the crease. and pull that into the outer V area and then pull it into our lash line. I just love how creamy these are. It like, it like gives me, I don't know what it does for me. Being a shadow lover, like an eyeshadow lover, like for the creaminess of these shadows are bomb and they just blend in so nicely. Like I feel like I don't have to do too much work which I don't mind doing work, because you know, hey, we work. <laughs> Had to use my jet ski to get my girl to school. Really? Oh my gosh, it's raining that bad? Yeah, it might skip over us. I thought it was gonna rain like crazy on Sunday. It didn't, and then yesterday I thought it was gonna rain. Um, it did rain this morning though, but before my workout. All right, let's add a little bit more and deepen it so that we get an even chateau. And this is gonna be like a very simple look and then I might wipe my eyes off, reprime, and see if we can do another look just to make this a little bit more fun. <laughs> Okay, so now that both of my eyes are covered in this color devilish and they're in the crease, I love the pigment, I love the color, I love the finish of it. It's not streaky, it applies on easily, um, not patchy if you're using the right brush, okay? I have to tell you, I, like I said, I'm gonna say this again, I'm not a fan of the Urban Decay uh, brush, not a fan. I'll give it another go We'll give it another go. Let's, we'll give it another go. <laughs> your foot is healed, gotta go jet skiing for real. But, oh, really, your foot's healed. Yes! Now we can get in some water. Now we can get in some water. Hey, is it now we can get in some water? <laughs> yes, I'm so excited, I'm happy. So you can walk, our, is all your privileges back? All right, now that we got that, I'm just gonna buff out these edges a little bit. So buffing out the edges is like making them not a harsh line, and I'm just using very light pressure and using like the tips of the bristles on my brush to just diffuse out that line so it's not as harsh. All right, let's move on to the next color. All right, so since I'm gonna be working in my crease again, but I wanna get a little bit more precise, so I'm gonna switch my brush to this e.l.f. Cosmetics Eye Crease Brush. So it's a very, very, very tiny brush, okay? A very tiny brush. And I'm gonna use this just to deepen out my crease. And we're gonna deepen out with Privacy. So Privacy is the deepest shade on this palette. So we're gonna go in with Privacy. Yeah, she wants me to find some tennis shoes with mesh. Um, Let me, let me look, uh, send me, <laughs> when you get a chance, Andrea, send me your shoe size um, and I'm gonna see if I can find some. Cause that's like the type of shoes that I wear when I work out. Like they, they're like mesh and like form to your foot and give you breathing room and all that stuff. All right, so let's pack this right here in this outer C area. And then let's just blend it into our crease like so. So this is just deepening out this eyeshadow look. All right, I'm gonna dip back in again. Pack all that color right in that outer C area, pull it into my lash line, and then into my crease. And then I'm just gonna flick it out just a little bit just to get it in that area. Put in my lash. Then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I used, the Morphe 441. 
I'm gonna go back into Devilish, tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna buff out where those two shadows meet, bringing back that color. All right, so look at this eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Nordstrom's Rack and found some Nikes, have to wait till payday. Oh, you, you did find some shoes that will work? All right, I'm gonna jump into this eye now. Hello, if you just joined the broadcast, welcome. I'm Jay Isaiah. Um, today we're working on the Naked Urban Decay palette. Um, yeah, the Naked Cherry palette. I think it came out last Friday. I ordered it on Friday, it got here on Monday. <laughs> and now we are going over it. Or did I say that all wrong? I feel like I said that wrong. I feel like I got it on Friday. And I ordered it on Wednesday. I don't know. I ordered it sometime. It came within like four days and we were good to go. <clears throat> all right, so jumping into privacy in the uh, palette again. So remember privacy is this shade right here. It's the deepest shade on the palette. And I'm using an e.l.f. crease brush. So guys, this is a dollar brush from, where did I get this from? Walmart, okay? And it's like my go-to brush. I use it every single makeup look. So let's pack that into that outer C area. So if you don't know what the outer C area is, I, I know people talk about the outer V a lot. So the outer V is like where your crease and meets like the bottom lash line. That's your outer V area, because it makes a V. Now, if you go in a little bit closer, right where your eyeball meets like your crease area, it makes this little curve. And that curve is what I call your outer C because if you follow it from your crease into your lash line, it makes a C. So I call that your outer C. So I'm gonna pack all of the color into my outer C area, which is right here, like so. Then I'm gonna pull it into the lower lash line and then start working it in the crease. And you wanna be kind of precise. You don't want it to go too high. So just keep it concentrated in the crease, but lower than the first color. And then we're gonna go back in with that brush and clean it up anyway. <clears throat> All right, so. Also guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the broadcast. Also, hit the thumbs up button and turn on our post notifications so you know every time I go live, every time we post a video. And if you would like to see more content from me, all of my social media information is in the description below. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna keep buffing this in, just darkening out that crease, deepening out that crease, giving us more definition and pulling it into the lash line. Now the tr trick with these, these shadows, and I have a light hand anyway when I apply my makeup, but um, the key with these shadows is I've noticed if I apply too much pressure, like when I'm packing the color, it becomes a little patchy. But um, if I loosen up my grip and I'm not pressing so hard, it glides together, blends together beautifully. So just some tips, if you, go, if you decide to go out and buy this palette, use a light hand. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe 441 brush, and we are going to go back into that first color that's on our lift, Devilish, which is this pretty color right here. It's like a deep berry tone. And let's clean it up. <laughs> So I'm just using very light pressure, going over where that line is, bringing back some of that first color and just really blending in that brown color into this pink. All right, so I'm noticing that this eye is a little bit deeper, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown shadow to it. <clears throat> Hey, oh, no, no. All right, 
going back in with my Morphe 441 brush and jumping into Devilish. So this is like part of um, the makeup routine, like in tutorials that you don't see a lot. Um, when you're doing makeup, like you gotta go back in with the colors that you use first, just so that you can bring back that color so it's not lost when you're adding more shadows. So they will tell you in makeup tutorials, they'll say, okay, and then go back in with this color. They'll show a quick clip, but it's not that quick. Like you have to really bring back the color, look at your eyes, make a decision if they're good for you or if you wanna change them or add more. All right. So that's where we're at so far. So, so far we've used Devilish and we've used Privacy and then we've just gotten this kind of like deepened out berry tone. And now let's see what we can work with next in this palette. <clears throat> so I really wanna use Hotspot because that white is super pigmented and it's it has to go somewhere. <laughs> so let's actually, let's just make this real cute. Let's um, Let's put hot spot on the lid in the inner corner, like the first like one third of our you'll see what I'm you'll see what I mean. I got the hiccups. So has anybody, if you can type, has anybody used a naked palette before? So here's my Morphe 167 brush. It's just a flat shading brush. I'm gonna dip into hot spot. So y'all are about to be shaken. You don't think so? Yeah, I've never used a naked um, palette either. I like Too Faced is like a brand where I like have little things from them. April, hey, welcome to the broadcast. Um, I have little things from them, but honestly not too many products. I think I have two palettes and glitter glue. And, and now a brush I don't like, but. <laughs> all right so first of all look at the pigment on this brush that is hot spot and we're about to put it on the lid and i'm about to show y'all i'm about to shake y'all y'all about to be shook shaking sh boo <laughs> okay it's halloween boo scared watch this okay like it's so creamy and it just covered my lid and it's like the blendability of this white, oh my gosh. Hold on, let me show y'all, let me show y'all, because I tapped some off, here we go, ready? Oh, oh, wow. There we go. Oh. All right, and I'm just gonna pack it on a little bit. And, woo, look at that white though. <laughs> like, isn't that super pigmented for a white? I don't know, like, okay, you gotta be like a makeup lover and like understand palettes and pigments to, to get why this shakes me so much because you don't get pigmented whites in a lot of palettes. Like you have to really build them and build them up and work with them. But like, honey, she's there. And we're gonna put another shimmer shade over top of this because it is very intense and takes away from the rest of the eye. But, hello, <laughs> she's home. All right, here we go. Let's do the other eye. See, you can't tell me. This that kind of shadow where once you have it on, nobody can tell you nothing. Like, oh, I, I know she's pigmented. <laughs> or somebody tells you about another white in their palette and you, you just laugh hysterically because you know that you're white and your palette's better. <laughs> That's the kind of shadow this one is. Someone's like, oh, I just found this pigmented white and you're like, <sighs> a pigmented white. <laughs> Child in your dreams. 
Oh my gosh. Oh. Baby with the record on. All right, and I'm just packing this in and it's just blending in with the other shadows by itself. I'm literally just packing. I'm just pressing in all these different areas and packing the color on. All right. Uh, give me one second, guys. I think I got some uh, fallout in my eye, and that's uncomfortable. So there's something about the palette. So even though the white is super pigmented, it does have some fallout. Not a lot of fallout, but enough to get in my eye. Give me one second. All right, and we're back. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have, and we use Hotspot, Devilish, and Privacy, and this is what we're looking. Now, I think we do need to add something like a shimmer shade or maybe something a little bit to tie it all together, um, and then we'll put some foundation on and then do the lower lash line, and then we'll talk about the palette. If we have enough time to do another look, but we have about 30 minutes left, and I will, um, if not, we'll just chat about what I thought about this part. All right, so let's clean our brush. We're gonna use a Morphe 167 brush, so we're gonna go ahead and clean that. And then let's, hmm, let's keep this dark. And, hmm, what do I wanna do? All right, I, want, I need your help, guys. Should we use Ambitious? this like golder, it's like a dark gold color, or should we use Drunk Dial, which is a chocolate shimmer? So there we go, get some light. So there is Ambitious or Drunk Dial. Ambitious is more gold, Drunk Dial is there. Let me swatch them, and that might be a little bit easier. So let's do, this one is Drunk Dial. So this one right here is Drunk Dial. And then this one is Ambitious. Ooh, ooh. Ambitious is pigmented. Yo, oh my God. I think, let's go with Ambitious. Cause I just like the pigment on that. Um, I don't have wipes around me. Let me go grab some wipes. One of these days I will have everything I need and I won't have to get up. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna go with ambitious just cause I like that. And if it's too bold, then I'll pop this on top of it and just that will like blend them together and even it out. So, and they, they clean up super easy. Like great formula, great formula. All right, so let's hop in with ambitious. And I'm gonna start that like right in the center of my lid. So, all right, let's get some more. So I'm packing this just like right in the center of my lid and I'm gonna pull it over a little bit, but that's where I wanna focus it most. And then we're gonna go back in with a uh, hot spot and put that back in the inner corner. So we're just packing this on the center of our lid like so. And I'm pulling it like right into my crease. 
And this will give us kind of like the illusion of a halo eye without like concealing and breaking that off. Kind of like a spotlight. There we go, that might be a better term for it, a spotlight eye. <laughs> Be free. All right. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay. I tried to look up and that probably looked crazy. <laughs> So here we go, I'm still applying this one. This is ambitious and I'm just applying it in the middle of the lid, just trying to get that same effect on the other side. And then I'm just pressing it into my natural crease area. Even though I have hooded eyes, this will give me the illusion of kind of like a spotlight eye, a quicker way of doing a halo eye. And just building that color up. But I love the shimmer shades in this palette. Um, some of them are very sparkly, like have a lot more glitter. Some of them are more sheer. Some of them are very, very pigmented. Some of them are very pigmented, but also sheer. So like, it's, I don't, I don't know. I really like the shimmer shades. I really like the shimmer shades. I'm gonna have to swatch all the shimmer shades so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> all right. So honey. When they tell you to shine like this, you shine like this, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the broadcast. If you are new, please don't forget to hit this thumbs up button showing that you enjoyed the broadcast. Hit that subscribe button and turn on our post notifications so you always know when we search beauty posts. And also, if you would like to check out my content, all of my social media is in the description below. And hello, I'm Jay Isaiah. <laughs> okay, so right now, we this is the current look that we are we have. And that shimmer shade is just so beautiful. I really love that shimmer shade. So now I wanna go back in my inner corner and give back that white. So I'm gonna go in with Hot Spot again. And I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. Like so. And then just fade it in by swiping my brush over top of that shimmer shade. Blending those two shades together. Boom. I'm gonna go in hot salt on the other side. Boom. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with Ambitious. And I'm just gonna tap like a little bit over where that white met just to like Give back some of that color. And I'm just using very light touch just to bring back some of that. Same thing on the other side. Just very light taps. Boom. Now, we have an eye look. Now, of course, it's not complete. It is not complete yet because we wanna do like the bottom lash line and like all that other stuff and get it popping. So let's put some foundation on. Tell me what you guys think about the eyeshadow look so far. We're using hot spot in the corner, inner corner, ambitious as our shimmer shade in our lid. And then we use devilish in our crease and then deepen it out with privacy. So let's go through that one more time. So we started with devilish in our crease and deepen that to our desired consistency. Then we went to the outer C slash outer V area and deepened it with privacy. We went into our inner corner with hot spot, like the first third of our lid, and then topped it all off with ambitious, which is like a copper gold color. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put some foundation on and get all this started. I've already moisturized. I use, um, did you see the new Anastasia Beverly Hills? The ABH palette, what is it called? So I've already moisturized my face with the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. 
A1 Holy Grail Moisturizer, dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, you can use it. <laughs> Just build it up if you have oily skin. Slow, like a little bit, build it up, but it's my favorite. Then we're gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. It's a little pricey though, how much? ABH is already, is it a $60 palette? Cause that's how much the Dream 2.0 palette was. All right, so that's my primer. And then I'm just gonna tap it into my face just to get it tacky. And we are now tacky. All right. And I'm gonna be going in today with a uh, Hello Happy Foundation, um, okay, here we go, there we go. Hello Happy Foundation by Benefit Cosmetics. I am the shade 11. This is literally my favorite foundation right now. Um, my number one foundation is this Hello Happy Foundation because it's sheer, light coverage, light to medium, you can build it up. And then after that, I would have to go with MAC, Studio Fix Fluid. Let you go check, all right, thank you, Amy. All right, so here we go, we're just gonna, Get some foundation on. This is light to medium coverage. Um, I, I'm more big into uh, skincare, so that that way I don't have to use full coverage concealer. I mean, I can't talk full coverage foundation. I mean, but every now and then you do need a good full coverage foundation. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just beat this into my face. So guys, while I'm doing my foundation and just getting my base right, let's talk a bit. So if you have not checked out our website, www.wesearch.com, I would definitely go check it out, look at the products, um, create a profile, create a We For Me profile, because our algorithm tells you, it takes into account your sensitivities and what you like when makeup. So when you fill out your profile, you can say if you're sensitive to skin, I mean, sensitive to skin. <laughs> Norvina, it says it's, oh, the Norvina palette, yeah. Um, that's actually on the WeSearch channel, we reviewed it. The Norvina palette, I think it didn't perform as well as they thought it was going to. Oh, there we go. All right, sorry, I got into blending. I got into blending my shadow and then forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, if you create a We For Me profile, um, you can choose like if you're sensitive to the sun, not skin sensitivity. Oh yeah, skin sensitivity too. But if you're sensitive to the scun, um, sun, if you don't like smelly makeup, if you don't like these things, these are all your preferences and your preferences should matter when you are choosing your makeup. So when you create your profile and define your preferences and your sensitivities and stuff, the makeup that pops up for you is things that adhere to your sensitivities, to your preferences. So literally when we say we find the makeup that works for you, that's what we do. <laughs> also, if you want to jump into other products, so like say you want to look at the um, We Pinion for the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which I haven't put in yet, but I'll put it in after this broadcast. Um, if you want to see the wee pinions for this or see my, what I think about it, you can just type in Urban Decay, Naked, Cherry Palette, it'll pop up and you can read my wee pinions about it. So it's one of those things, guys, where you just got to check it out yourself, see if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, definitely leave us some feedback. Let us know what you didn't like, what would make it easier. But if you love it, also tell us that too, because all feedback is good feedback. Well, all feedback is helpful, not good. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like perfect my base right now because I want to finish out the eye look, but we are looking flawless. Come through. Mm. 
It's nice, fifty dollars. What time are you? Uh, okay, fifty dollars. Yeah. Um, the Rena palette. Like, I think there's a dupe of that palette out that I might look into first to see, cause like, I mean, I like the colors, but that price point. Ooh, unless they gonna send me a free palette, I gotta like start saving my money, you know. <laughs> but um, what time will meet me? Um, hopefully around three thirty, I think. I mean, I'll send out a blast. Sorry, I just love blending. This is like my favorite part of makeup. <laughs> blending eyeshadows and blending. All right. Look at that base though. So we're gonna be talking about foundation on Thursday. Um, that broadcast is gonna be called All About That Base. So I'm literally just gonna go through a lot of my foundations and use different uh, like applicators. So sponges, brushes, the silicone pad. What else do I got in here? Oh, fingers and like seeing which base comes out the best. So definitely if you can make it to our Thursday show, that'll be dope. We do have a show tomorrow as well. And we're doing a real versus dupe. So I have the Sephora Pro Palette and I also have the NYX Cosmetics, the NYX Ultimate Palette and they literally have almost the same exact colors. So I honestly think that the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate was a dupe of the Sephora Pro Palette. So we're gonna put those to the test. Okay, we good on the base. <laughs> so let's go ahead and finish out the eyeshadow. So I really like how this came out. This is actually really pretty, a pretty look. So in order to finish this out, let's take privacy. So here's our deepest shade that we used. Hello everybody, if you just joined the broadcast, welcome. So we did do the eye look already. We're about to finish it out right now, but we so far we've jumped into hot spot for the inner corner area. We deepened our crease with devilish that started our crease color. Then we deepened it with Privacy, which is the deepest shade on the palette. Um, and then we use this shimmer shade Ambitious on top just to give us some shimmer. So now we're about to complete it out at the bottom. So now I'm gonna jump in with my e.l.f. crease brush, jump into Privacy and get that color on there. <clears throat> so now all I'm gonna do is, what's up, pause? I'm literally editing a video as you go live. <laughs> it's all good, pause, welcome to the broadcast. You'll be there to win. Yes, Amy. <laughs> I hope I hope you win today. I totally do. So I'm gonna take this and, and from starting in my like outer C lower lash line, I'm just gonna pull that color into my lash line like so. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Seems to be very subtle palette, yet very pretty. Exactly, I agree with I agree with you. So it is very subtle. It like a lot of the things come out sheer. Um, after I'm done applying the makeup look on the bottom, I'm gonna turn off the light and like see if we can get in some more natural lighting so you can really get into the shadows. But but you're right. You're absolutely right. It is very subtle, but it's pigmented at the same time and it glides on. It's creamy. I really like how the shadows perform. All right, I'm going back on the other side right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and sweep this brown on the lash line. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my color switch and clean off this brown color, like so. Now we're gonna go into that first color. Can be worn every day, it really can. It is an everyday palette, honestly. Um, all of the colors are very neutral and very natural colors. You have like your deeper colors right here if you have deeper skin tones. And if you have lighter skin tones, you can come up here for your everyday natural look. And this beige white color is the best. It's popping. All right, so now we're gonna go in with Devilish. Devilish right here, using that same brush, I'm gonna pop into Devilish. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna sweep that in my lash line like so.
All right, and I'm gonna go back in. Ooh, devilish go. Oh, there we go, there's devilish. Have a good day, I gotta do some work. All right, see ya, Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Also guys, if you're new to the broadcast, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. Hit that subscribe button so you know when we search posts and turn on our post notifications, cause why not? And by the way, if you are new here, my name is Jay Isaiah. Um, I'm a beauty influencer, lifestyle and beauty, singer, songwriter, um, and I just love helping people, teaching, and all that other stuff, so welcome to the broadcast. If you would like to check me out, all of my um, social media is in the description below as well. And welcome, thanks for joining. All right, so now I'm gonna just go ahead with that lower lash line and that color devilish. And we're gonna pull that across like so. And then in that inner corner, let's say we have a comment. I've been on the fence for this palette because I do have the Naked Heat palette. Oh, okay, so that was something that I talk about in my review for this. It's gonna be posted later today, I think. Um, but I talk about how creamy this palette is. And then after talking with the research team, uh, I found out that the Naked Heat palettes are usually really powdery. So a lot of the Urban Decay palettes in the past are more of a powdery finish than a creamy finish. Like literally, let me show you, let me show you something real quick. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. So this is turn on. One, two, okay, two swipes. Here's my hand, and you ready? <laughs> like, honey, <laughs> like there's no denying this. Like, now let me get a matte shade so we can be fair. All right, ready? Let's go into privacy, because that's the, um, the deepest shade on the palette. So I'm gonna dip into here, so ready? One, two, here's my hand, ready? Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm telling you, like, there's no deny. You can see the shimmer from back here. Yes, very pigmented, like, I'm telling you. <laughs> So that's what like really made me fall in and fall in love with this palette because you don't it's creamy. You don't need that much shadow to do what you want to do and you can still come out with a look like hello. <laughs> All right, let's put hot spot in our inner corner. So I'm going to go in with a let's pop into the brushes. All right, I'm gonna use this really, really cute. Um, this is from Dew Color. It's just like a fluffy blending brush, but it's very precise, like a very precise fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna put hot spot in my inner corner. I'm gonna think I'm gonna head on over to Ultra Sephora. Yes, yes, come through. You gotta let me know what you think about it too. And um, if you if you do buy the palette, make sure you go on WeSearch.com and put in your opinion, because I would love to see what you think about it and compare it to mine. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Let's put this in the inner corner. All right, so let's let's go look at this look in some different lighting. You sure will? Yes, loving it. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's um let's change the change sceneries. Let's change lighting. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what happens here. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry around my whole tripod. Let's let's do it this way. Ooh. So, I mean, that's like, it's very gloomy outside today, but overall, like, I really love how these shadows perform. What do you guys think about this look? The eyeshadow look, at least. I didn't do anything else, just eyeshadow and my brows. But let's walk around, let's see. It's a mobile vlog now. <laughs> hmm, I'm trying to find like where the best lighting is. Like where I take pictures sometimes is like right here, but it's so gloomy today. 
Oh, there we go. So here we go. There's a good look into the shadow right there. And natural lighting. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to We Search Live with me, Jay Isaiah. <laughs> I'm done. It's uh, so gloomy today. I'm not used to it being this gloomy. It looks good. Thank you, Andrea. Almost Halo, right? Exactly. That's what I was, um, I said that in, earlier in my broadcast. I was saying that this technique that I learned for the shadow I did today, um, it's, it's like a quicker way of doing a halo eye. And if you want to go the extra step and like deepen out um, the inner corner part, let's put the, whoa, that was a lot of light. Very nice, you love it. Thank you so much, she's beautiful. But yeah, and I was saying if you um, wanted to deepen like the inner sides and bring it up a little bit, deepen that a little bit more, then you could definitely have an halo eye. So I call this a spotlight eye. So a little bit of shimmer right in the middle, deepened in the crease, color out there, gives you like a really nice subtle thing. But if you wanted to go more dramatic, you could totally, totally turn this into a halo eye. <laughs> Cut it out with some concealer and you got it. <clears throat> So, okay, let's see. Overall, I mean, I really enjoy this look. I think it's a pretty cute look. And then once you throw some lashes on here, some mascara, get your little contour going, pop these cheekbones with some highlighter, this is a look, a look for the books. <laughs> I gotta come up with a bunch of sayings, a bunch of models like that. This is a look for the books. It's, let me think of another one. I can't think of one right now. It's a berry, berry, cherry good. Show you right. <laughs> Why this cherry is berry beautiful, okay. <laughs> I'm done, let me stop before I embarrass myself. But everybody, so the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette, I definitely would recommend this. Um, like She's Beautiful said, it is a very subtle palette, but the pigments are creamy, it's very pigmented. Definitely the shimmers. Like if you, even if you just bought this palette for the shimmers, there is a total of one, two, three, four, five. There's five shimmers in here. I think it's almost worth it for just the shimmers themselves. But luckily, the matte colors are also pigmented and those are worth it too. Now, these shades down here, like um, Feels and Juicy, I have a deeper skin complexion, obviously, so they don't show up that much on my lids. That's why I didn't even work with them today. But if you build them up, they do give you that pink hue and all that other stuff. Love your love, I'm so, yes, that is it. <laughs> I'm so glad that you were able to like see this palette and work it out and that you made a decision to buy it. Cause that's literally what research is all about, finding makeup that works for you. <clears throat> um, but this white right here, honey, let, let's, let's just do this one. I, I this, this is my favorite, ready? Oh, let's turn this off. Look at this. Look at this white. Where's my skin underneath it? Where is it? Bruh. Like. <laughs> I like that, that shake, like I had to talk about that one again because it literally shakes my core of how pigmented and creamy that is. Like I'm just in love. Love, 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 love. But yeah, so that is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. An inner corner highlighter, right? Or a brow highlight. Actually, I didn't even do that. Let's, let's stop playing games with our face, okay? We're gonna stop playing games with our face today because we ain't playing. Let's dip into that hot spot and then let's... And let's just stop playing with our face. I'm telling you. Oh, <laughs> there it is, baby. Yes, okay. <laughs> Cause like, I'm like, we weren't playing. Yes, I'm so glad that you said highlight because it, ooh, I'm feeling it. 
<laughs> all right, everybody. Well, that is all for today's broadcast. Thank you so much for coming out. I am Jay Isaiah. I have all of my social media is in the description below. Don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up. Share this broadcast so that we can make We Search Live like really popping, really happening. We're gonna bring you all of the real, 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 real tea on these palettes. If the palettes don't perform, we will let you know. If the palettes aren't pigmented, we will let you know. And on the other flip side, if the palettes are bomb, we will let you know. <laughs> um, the, the only thing I have about this palette is that the brush sucks. I don't like the brush. I think for a $50 palette, they could have gave a better brush, but I have my own brushes, so it's not that big of a deal. I do recommend the Urban Decay palette, and that is all for today. Have a great day, everybody. Um, hopefully, I see you in our next We Search Live broadcast, which will be tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we are gonna be going over uh, Dupe versus Real, so the NYX Ultimates versus the Sephora Pro palette. So let's see which one performs better. All right, guys, bye. <laughs> Blessings to you as well.